As a boomer, you should game. Uh, we've heard it before. Uh, TV rots your brain. Have you ever had trouble doing something you really don't want to, like going on camera for a YouTube video? Perhaps today's sponsor will help. Whiskey. A drunk man does what a sober man thinks. You know that comfortable feeling as you recline to watch an old movie or a TV series you're familiar with? That is actually your brain atrophying. Based on the principles of brain neuroplasticity, some TV shows may actually make you dumber for having watched it. Conversely, it's been shown that gaming is good for your brain. I opened an arcade in the 80s and I was a world-class defender player, but uh, today I cannot hold a candle to the very young people who are very skilled, very fast, that are kicking my ass daily in my World of Tanks multiplayer game. PC gaming for boomers is kind of a tough road to hoe, unless you just keep your expectations low. You're not really out to win, but driving your perfectly tuned up tank around the property and taking pot shots at teenagers is just great fun. Do you remember RCing in the 80s? Uh, remote control airplanes, boats, race cars, sailboats. Um, that's where you had to earn your hobby. First, you'd spend a long time building to perfection your piece of art, and then you take it out for the first time. In 2023, you can build your own gaming PC or you can buy a pre-built. Now, building your own is a hoot. If you're just a little bit handy, buying a pre-built is very difficult, more difficult than building in my opinion, because nine out of 10 PC gaming computers you're presented with are such crap, you should be embarrassed you own them. An Acer Loser Nitro Suckface Edition, which I bought from Best Buy. But there's always a catch with these pre-builds, right? They may seem on the surface like, oh, this seems like pretty good value for money. And then they just catch you off guard with the motherboard equivalent of rabies. But OEMs remain entrenched in ways where a motherboard's form factor is defined as you and the cost to replace it is a new computer. This power supply is about as confidence inspiring as a coal mine where the canaries keep dying. Moving over to the cooler, we've got something that looks like it would be embarrassing to whip out on a first date. The power supply actually caught on fire. Now the whole point of my month-long interstellar journey with the SS Loser Nitro Suckface is to see what it's like living with an OEM pre-built paired with a single 8 gig stick of RAM. Now considering that there is a 78% chance that this RAM configuration will give me leprosy. The next one is for RAM, just in general. Everyone screws this one up in some capacity. We have our longtime favorite abomination, a single stick of RAM. How? lonely these memory modules are. They have no friends. David's log, day 53 of our journey on the SS Loser Nitro. We have encountered a couple of technical difficulties that has led to a waning crew morale. Now in my experience, Acer systems normally have the Windows equivalent of a rabid dog installed on it. Bloatware is easily one of the most egregious offenses on pre-built and on laptops alike. It's been going on for decades now, so it's not new, but it's still happening. For novices, these applications make the entire experience worse than it should be. But there are a lot of pre-built companies that take their consumers for a ride. So today we're gonna point and laugh at them. <laughs> 
Oh, that sounds good. Now, I've actually done a video on one of these before, in which I very affectionately dubbed it the Acer Loser Nitro Suckface Edition, because, you know, it was just that good. And we also get a nice e-waste keyboard, which looks about as fun to use as a home colonoscopy kit. Using Ryzen with a single stick of RAM is kind of like trying to run a marathon right after an amateur hip replacement. It's just like the Molex Centipede, or...? But it failed our review because it was thermal throttling. It was actually hitting 100 degrees Celsius, which is unacceptable. Literally, they had one job, and it was to build a functioning computer. That it's actually just planned obsolescence of components to force repurchases rather than repairs. There is an upside, though. Proprietary parts will benefit us in our not-too-distant dystopian future when humanity desperately harvests metal from landfills left behind by our ancestors, thereby making it easier for our successors to find steel out of which they can forge their spears. A gaming PC is just a very powerful computer with a lot of RGB lights. Now, of course, everybody knows that you can make your computer faster by adding, say, six to eight ounces of RGB lights, just like adding chrome to that project you're never going to finish in the garage. Alrighty, so uh, this is VR Museum. It's one of the first games I ever downloaded. It's hard to call it a game. It's just the museum and there's art in here. So to drive around here, it's the standard WASD keyboard stuff. Uh, S backwards, W forward. And in this case, it's kind of rare. Um, as you're walking forward, just wherever you're looking, that's where you're gonna go. amazing genres of games. Uh, there are horror games. Who knew horror games? All right, this is the first game I ever bought. I uh, bought it about a year and a half ago. I play it every day. It's World of Tanks Blitz. Okay, here we'll get a countdown and we can see our teammates. We got three, four of us over here. There's seven on each side. It's always best to hang with a buddy, so I'm gonna kind of follow this guy. He's driving like he knows something. And you can see on the radar that we've got one spotted, and it's this guy right here. So we can get a shot off. Enemy armor is damaged. And, uh, oops, oops, somebody's shooting me. Uh oh, uh oh. Victory for the green team. So here's my favorite game. I uh, generally go to this after rage quitting in my tanks game. And it's more than a driving simulator. It's really a crashing simulator. Um, all kinds of crazy vehicles, great sound effects. Um, this looks like something I could have ridden in my past. Oh, 
let's try something a little uh, higher dollar. Nice hundred thousand dollar off road weekender rig. So get this baby up to speed if I can. catastrophe that's about to happen. I'd like to flip it into moon gravity and do a nice slow motion wreck. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. Well, okay. No, that seems about right. How about a good old classic sob? There you go. Moon gravity. Let's see how it wrecks. Oh, that's disconcerting, seeing the driver's seat fly out. Hmm. Yeehaw! This could go on for a while. Now, here's my favorite thing, is uh, getting a nice chrome airplane, putting it in some improbable place, and then trying to launch it, and then uh, killing the motor, and um, trying to land it. So, uh, let's see if I can get this thing to launch from here. Okay, give her about half throttle. There we go, okay, should have been three quarters throttle. Hmm, ouch. That's gonna leave a mark. So I am strongly recommending that you build a gaming PC or buy a pre-built and get gaming. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to be forced to recommend learning a new musical instrument or paragliding. Because what's left? Really, what, what else is there? If you feel I have earned your subscription, smash that button. Thank you and much love.